remember Nashville in the 30s, that is the 1930s, and uh, everyone knew everyone else. There were probably 150,000 people, and uh, I could ride my bicycle to MBA from Hillwood, and uh, the, uh, the streetcar ran down the middle of Harding Road. You know, we couldn't go to a white water fountain. We couldn't go into a store and try on shoes. You know, you had to uh, trace the foot on your, trace your foot, and then that's how you got fit for the shoe. And we couldn't go to a doctor's office. You always had to go through the back door of a doctor's office. The buses were segregated and things that seem absurd now were the rule in the 30s and 40s. I taught seventh and eighth grade science for 20 some years, like I told you. Uh, enjoyed every minute of it. And I loved these kids. I ain't gonna, I'm not lying. I loved them. They was all, they were my, my kids. Young men would dress up in Confederate officers' uniforms and ride horseback around the campus. And the girls would be in two groups. You'd have the fair maidens, and then you'd have the Piccaninis. You'd have girls in blackface with their hair tied up in ribbons and the like. Most of the changes, frankly, have been, um, have been good. We just have to hold the line. We just have to make certain that Nashville remains affordable for everybody. Expansions also provided, you know, neat things that were not here 40 years ago, such as, you know, the uh, Nissan Stadium and, uh, and pro football, the hockey, uh, a much better facility for uh, pro baseball. Uh, I remember going to the very first Sounds game back in 1978 uh, held at Greer Stadium. Um, I tell my clients who come in from out of town, if you want to succeed in Nashville, you must get involved in the community. I don't care what, whether you're interested in the Boy Scouts or the, or the, uh, the uh, Chamber or, or what it is you're interested in, but you must get involved in the community or you're going to be rejected by us because there is an ethos in Nashville that you give back. Before the Titans, sports in Nashville was divisive. It overstates it perhaps, but you're either an NBA fan or a White's Creek fan. You're either a MTSU fan or a TSU fan. One thing that we thought when we were negotiating with the then Oilers, now the Titans, uh, was that this could bring us together. It's, uh, it's just been remarkable. It is, has been a friendly place and still continues to be a friendly and open place for most people. They know each other. Because once you get to know somebody, and once you understand their story, it's impossible to discriminate against them.